that's basically gonna be like I'm never buying this again <laughs> I'm gonna finish the product but I'm never buying this again hi hello beautiful welcome back to my channel it's Yashima and if you are new here I create fashion lifestyle and home decor videos so if you're into that type of thing please consider subscribing like comment share do all the good things because I would love to have you back okay all right so let's get into this review we are going to be talking about the Christian Dior Amber Nuit scent which is new in my collection and I just want to share my thoughts about the fragrance and give it a little bit of of a rating at the end of this video so if you want to see what that is please continue watching you guys I mentioned in the last video that I wanted to try this fragrance out but I did not want to do a blind buy so I went to my nearest mall actually I went to the Neiman Marcus first and they didn't have it at their counter the counter that I went to um, I did test it out a few other fragrances that I may be purchasing one or two from that will be in the future so the essay that I dealt with uh, she directed me to the Dior counter at the mall that I went to I didn't even know that that mall had a Dior counter so I I went there and they had all of the fragrances so I tested it each one <laughs> including the Amber Nuit. The Amber Nuit was actually the first one I tested. I tested it first on the testing card then I was like why didn't I test that out on my skin so I went back a couple days later tested it out on my skin I was like you know what I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and purchase it so that's what I did. I ordered it from the site even though I could have picked it up from the counter but to me, when it comes to luxury and buying luxury items, I love the experience. Now, I don't think I would have gotten the same experience at the counter as I did online. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should be, you get everything there first. I did a little bit of a tease slash unboxing over there of this. So this is not the actual unboxing. This is just like a a replicated um, unboxing so let's get into it quickly the box is very simple very understated which I don't mind I love simplicity I love minimal that's like how I live so when you purchase it online this is how this is how the packaging comes so I'm just gonna take this off once again so it comes with this cute little string and then I forgot what you call these things but it comes with this and the box that it comes in this is like a magnetic open closure and then it comes nicely wrapped so I just put everything back in so you guys who are new to the channel may see exactly how it comes and so whenever you purchase any luxury like they usually have their logo on a sticker and so the tissue paper and then it comes in this cute little duster bag that I love to like repurpose and so like I like to use these whenever I'm traveling love that and then this is how the so this is how the perfume comes packaged in this cute little white round box and you open it up and this is the fragrance that's how it comes and also if you don't know whenever you purchase any beauty items as far as I know you get a choice of samples like little sample size or two miniature size items so I thought I selected two miniature items but I only got one I don't know what's up with Dior but um, I think this is a popular item though in the larger size of course and it's the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer it's like a lip gloss just something to have whenever you need to like moisturize your lips which I usually need this is how it comes this is the packaging very simple classic style and the cap is like magnetic and it has the Dior embossed on the nozzle here which is really really good i love that and this is really good for like traveling too i love the size because i can easily just throw this in my bag whenever i need to like freshen up my scent throughout the day so as you can see i've used quite a bit already and i got it in the size uh 40 mil which is 1.3 fluid ounces and this will run you about $125 which is not bad but $125 for a one fluid ounce bottle of perfume eh, 
I was very wary in purchasing but first off you can see the color of the fragrance is not too dark is not too light it's like that perfect in between brown color not too much to say about that but we're gonna quickly get into the notes of it all and I'm gonna just pull up what the site has I'm gonna be looking down a bit so first off Dior has like an intensity bar for their fragrances and it goes up to four and this is at four now I'll give you my opinion on that later but let's just quickly get into the notes and they only mention two notes on the site about this scent but just so you know it's a warm floral warm floral is what I see myself gravitating to a lot these days when i saw that on site i was like okay yes i'm absolutely gonna love that it has like this fierceness of amber notes and then it has a delicate but sophisticated turkish rose scent so, so on first spray which i'll do now on first spray and i like how it sprays like very full but not too much not too overpowering if that's such a thing and you're not supposed to pat it in, but I'm trying to. <laughs> so when you first spray it out, it is strong. You get more of the rose, like you get that fierce rose scent when you spray it out, which kind of threw me off when I first smelt it in store. I was like, ah, it's kind of bitter. But the more it evolves, it gets into this soft, but powerful, ambery scent, which, I love amber scent. Anything that has amber in it, I really, really like. And that's how they describe it. Now, even before I saw the description, that's what I noticed when I first spread it out at the counter. It had like that bitter, fierce rose scent, which I did not really like at first, but the more it like develops, like I said, and just grows into the scent, you get that ambery, soft, sensual scent. So, Remember I told you they have this intensity up at four? To me, it's not that intense. <laughs> I guess this is intense compared to Dior fragrances, but for my nose, this is a mix in between soft and intense. So it's, it's right in there, which is not bad for a fragrance, which means that you could wear this just about anywhere, in my opinion. Like I said, it gives you that rosy, strong, fierce vibe, and then it just comes down to a sensual yet powerful, soft, feminine um, vibe. So I really, really like that. And this is how they describe the intensity. I'm gonna share that. So the intensity of the fragrance is composed around a contrast between the flower and the animalistic note. So neither too delicate nor too wild, and the fragrance is both powerful and enveloping that's how they describe it so so this is my thought on this fragrance overall right so when you first spray it out this is just letting the world know that hey you better be ready i'm on my way and then once you get there okay it's like okay now that i have you in my parameters i'm going to devour you slowly <laughs> that's basically what it is so it, it, it gives me that type of vibe like so the big question is is it long lasting is it worth it it's not long lasting enough for me <laughs> i'm just gonna say that if you're someone who wants your perfume to stay strong throughout then this is not the scent for you if you like scents that develop along the way then this is the scent for you because as you know sense is different on everybody it depends on your body chemistry and all the things right and i've tried this um, with my fenty whipped body cream i've tried it with oil and even with those like to me it, it didn't last as long as i wanted it to a long lasting fragrance is if i spray it in the morning and let's say at seven eight o'clock in the morning you know, I've, I've, I've had a day out just doing all the things and I get back home, let's say eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours later, I want to still be able to smell that on my skin, on my clothes, and I do not get that. It doesn't hold up to the intensity as they describe it on their site. So my rating, or, and I'm going to describe my ratings because going forward, I'll be rating 
all of my fragrances that I share on this channel. So here's the paradigm of my rating. Between one and two, that's basically gonna be like, I'm never buying this again. <laughs> I'm gonna finish the product, but I'm never buying this again. Um, three is I have mixed feelings about the fragrance, so I'm not sure if I would repurchase. And then four to five is basically I love the scent. I'm obsessed with the scents. I'm definitely purchasing another bottle, a bigger bottle. I'm gonna, this is going to stay in my life, basically. So that's how the rating is going to be. And I would rate this fragrance a four only because it doesn't last as long as I would love it to, right? But it still smells really good. Like I'm obsessed with the scent. I'm gonna purchase a fragrance oil. The brand Nest has this Madagascar vanilla oil that I've been thinking about purchasing. It's either that or another one that I have my eye on and try it with this scent or just to have like with my fragrances to layer because I think layering is important to help customize like scents to your liking. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do with this. But overall, I love the scent. This scent is just so unique in my opinion that I, I don't know, like it's just different from what I have in my collection. I can't even pick anything that really resembles this scent. This is like the first of its kind to me. I really, really like it. I just wish that it lasts a little bit longer. I need to smell it on my clothes, not faintly. I needed to smell it on my clothes. So that's just my only qualm with it. And I really prefer long lasting scents. I just feel like I get my money worth out of it. But for 125, I, I would purchase this again. I would purchase this again, but I would stick with the one fold ounce bottle. I don't love it enough to buy a bigger size. That's just my two cents. I think this brings me to the, the end of this video. I really hope that you find it helpful. If you did, definitely give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you have any additional thoughts that I may have missed, um, you can leave them in the comments. If you own this bottle, let me know your thoughts on it below as well. And if you have any fragrances that you may be interested in me like reviewing later on, I would be interested to see what you guys would want me to try. All right, continue to be your beautiful self and I'll see you guys in the next one.